Hi there, and welcome to the Clear Skin Essentials, and I'm your host, Natasha St. Michael, and thank you so much for joining me. So today, I wanna to show you how to do a scalp treatment for acne-prone skin. Um, a few months ago, for those of you that follow my blog over at theclearskinessentials.com, I featured an interview with Olivia Dufour, and Olivia is one, is one of our, our subscribers, one of our readers, that cleared up her skin naturally. And she mainly suffered from hormonal acne. And one of the things that she pointed out that really helped her a lot clearing up her skin was doing regular scalp treatments. And all she would use is jojoba oil and Oregon grape extract or tincture. And after I, I published her, her interview, I received so many emails from many of you asking me, can you please do a demo or can you please talk more about the scalp treatment? I want to do it myself, right? And because it makes a lot of sense, what she's saying is that if, if the, your scalp isn't balanced, if it's not healthy, if your scalp and your hairline is right next to your face, that if that area of your head is, is not healthy, then the rest of your skin probably around your head is not going to be healthy either, right? Which includes your face. And so she found that by, by working on healing her scalp, that really helped to actually speed up the healing of her skin on her face and get rid of those hormonal breakouts. So I'm going to show you how to do the scalp treatment today. Uh, very easy. The one thing I do recommend is always to do the scalp treatment when your hair is dirty. Okay, so don't be doing it when you just washed your hair. I would do it on the days where you plan to wash your hair. Do it right before. And it's a very simple, simple, simple scalp treatment. It doesn't take long, but it's it's worth doing, and it's worth doing regularly. So Olivia recommends doing it at least two to three times a week. So whenever you wash your hair, do it. And it's something that over the long term, you'll definitely start seeing the benefits. Um, I'm also just going to mention before I get into the demo, is I've listed out all the instructions, the ingredients, everything you need to use, and links to those things. Put all that on today's blog post at theclearskinessentials.com, so you can always refer to that. Plus, I've also put it all together into a PDF so that you can download it, save it to your computer, your phone, or print it out. So you have all the instructions for the scalp treatment, plus what you need and where to get it. All right, so let's get started. First, let's go through what you need to use for the scalp treatment. Okay, so only two ingredients. Very, very, very simple. First thing you need is jojoba oil. Right here I'm using Living Libations jojoba oil. And then you'll need Oregon grape tincture. Okay, so this is liquid form of Oregon grape. And both these products you can get at health food stores or you can buy online. I'll make sure below this video and on today's blog post, I'll list out all the products I use in this demo, uh, links so that you can shop online and find it easy, but very, very easy to find this stuff. So you'll need these two products and to mix the oil, the jojoba oil with the Oregon grape, tincture, you'll just need either, I have a little ramekin, but you, if you have a small little bowl, just something to mix the two with, you'll, you'll need. Plus, you also need a wide tooth comb. I tend to use plastic when I'm putting oil treatments through my hair, just because it's easier to wash out. But I also recommend, and I'm going to show you how to use it, is to use a wooden bristle brush to massage your scalp. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to do that later on. But if you don't have the brush, at least if you can get a plastic wide tooth comb, nothing that's, not a comb that's too fine, but one that's wide, wide enough that it's not gonna pull or break your hair, but good enough that it's gonna comb out your hair, and this is a great way of just distributing the oil throughout your scalp and your hair. Okay, and Lastly, you'll need a hair tie. If you've got long hair, like me, we've, we're gonna put it back either in a bun or in a ponytail or just tie it back after you've put the scalp treatment through. Plus, you'll also need shampoo and conditioner. So as I mentioned earlier, you always do the scalp treatment before you plan to wash your hair. It's always best to do it when your hair is actually dirty, you know, so it's today's the day where you're supposed to be washing your hair. Perfect time to do the scalp treatment before washing. Okay, and I recommend always, if you really want to have healthy hair, healthy scalp, healthy skin, my strongest recommendation is definitely to be using a shampoo and conditioner that is natural, that doesn't contain silicones, that doesn't have so sodium lauryl sulfate or SLSs, 
that doesn't have any kind of strong detergent and no synthetic fragrances. And mainly because these ingredients, they tend to dry out your scalp, okay? Which can make you have an unhealthy, dry or oily scalp. It can make it worse, okay? So the main thing is, is that when you use a natural shampoo, a lot of times this just allows your, your skin to be a lot healthier and also you're not coating your hair with ingredients that can be comedogenic and clogging your pores like silicone. Silicones are the worst because when that starts touching your face or your shoulders or your chest or your back is that it can actually give you breakouts, okay? And that's why people get breakouts from their hair care products. So for this demo, I'm gonna be using Living Libations and using their Sea Buckthorn Shampoo and their Shine On Conditioner. I've been really, really loving these two products, so highly, highly recommend it. So let's get started with the scalp treatment. So we're gonna pour one tablespoon of the jojoba oil into a small mixing bowl. And then we're just gonna put, I would say 10 drops of the Oregon grape tincture. With your fingers, you're just gonna mix the Oregon grape around with the jojoba oil. And then you're gonna take your hair down and you're gonna brush your hair out, okay? So make sure that there's no, your hair's not tangled or anything like that, you're gonna brush it out. I recommend parting your hair down the center, just make it easier. And you can always use a comb, you can always comb out your hair, whatever you like. And then you're gonna put the scalp treatment through your hair. Now, what I recommend to do, which is very, very simple, is just put your fingers in there and then gently just apply it to your scalp. And you're gonna do the top of your scalp and then you're gonna get more of the oil and you're gonna run your fingers through your hair and you're always very gentle on your scalp. You're always just using the beds of your fingertips, okay? Never your fingernails or anything and you just run your fingers through your hair. So as I'm applying the oil now with both hands, I'm massaging the oils into my hand a little bit and then as you can see I'm just running my fingers through my hair putting a little bit of pressure on the scalp but not hurting the scalp just kind of massaging it and you can also lightly very gently massage your scalp with a circular motion as you're putting the oil in and giving yourself a nice nice massage. You also want to make sure that you get underneath your head that it's not only the top of your head but it's the back that you're massaging with the oil it's the sides behind your ears everywhere and then what i like to do is that when i have a little bit of oil left i like to just pour the remaining amount into the palm of my hands and then i like to run it through the length of my hair and this just it just gives a little added moisturizing for the length of your hair as well. And you just rub, gently rub it in. And then you're gonna take the wide tooth comb that I was talking about before, and you're gonna comb your hair, okay? Very, very gently. And you're gonna comb it all the way through. And this will help to evenly distribute the oil to make sure that it's really covering your scalp and also covering your hair as well. And then lastly, if you have the wooden bristle brush, this is how you would give yourself a massage, is that you would just place the brush at your hair and you're just moving it in a circular motion very gently and then you would just run it through and then you would start here. And so pretty much you're going in a circular motion very very gently on your scalp but it feels really nice, like really really nice, <laughs> I have to say. And what's nice about having a like one of these brushes is that you can do all the way in the back of your hair. It's not, it's not hard to get around. And so a circular motion, massaging your scalp and then running it through and then continue. And you would do the front of your head, the back of your head, the top, behind your ears, everywhere. You can do, I would say the massage maybe for about three minutes is, is a good amount of time. Then lastly, you're gonna comb your hair through one more time and just because every time you're combing or massaging your scalp 
with a brush or a comb. It's also helping to stimulate your scalp. So it's part of the actual treatment is to do a lot of brushing and combing and, and at the same time being very, very gentle. And then lastly, you're gonna then sweep your hair up and you're gonna put it into, I would recommend if you have long enough hair, I'd recommend putting it into a bun just because it's more moisturizing. But if you don't have long hair, you could just put in a ponytail. And if you have short hair, just comb your hair back. And my recommendation is actually to leave the scalp treatment in for at least one hour. You could leave it in like all day if you wanted to. There's been times I've actually slept with the scalp treatment on my hair and it was fine the next day. My hair, in fact, was a lot it was so soft and shiny and moisturized. And after an hour of leaving the scalp treatment in your hair, or longer, now you're ready to wash it out. And my recommendation is to shampoo your hair twice, okay, so two times in a row, and then condition your hair. My other recommendation is to get a shower head filter, okay, a water filter for your shower. Really, really important. If you want to have softer hair, less dry skin, and just healthier skin, healthier scalp, get a water filter for your shower because it'll remove the chlorine, it'll remove heavy metals, and it'll also remove any minerals, okay? Like if, if you have hard water, it'll soften your water because a lot of times, those of you living in areas where there's hard water, the minerals in your water could be irritating your skin and drying it out and causing a lot of issues with your scalp, with your hair and your skin. So in general, I strongly, strongly recommend getting a water filter for your shower. And that's the scalp treatment. Super, super simple, easy. And I have to say, if you do this regularly, like at least two to three times a week, every week for a few weeks, you'll start to really see improvements, not only in your scalp, your scalp won't be as dry or as oily or as itchy or flaky or irritated, but you also see it just in your hair in general and, and also the skin on your face and, and around your shoulders and, and back and chest as well. It's really like your whole upper body will be affected by doing this. It definitely makes a big difference. Um, just to remind everyone too that all the instructions and everything you need is listed out and written out on today's blog post at theclearskinessentials.com. Plus, I've also put everything together in a little PDF that you can download. So if you want to save it to your computer, you want to print it out or put it on your phone, if you just want to keep it for later, definitely download the scalp treatment for acne prone skin, the, the guide, and I'll put a, a link to that below. And I've also, on today's blog post and in the guide, I've included a few more tips on how on how to really enhance the scalp treatment, really to have a healthy scalp and hair. So, Definitely, if you're interested in doing scalp treatments, definitely go and check that out. All right, wishing everyone a fabulous day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.